What I'm doing now is just showing you how to create a subdomain. And you know how to get into your domain, right? And manage your domains. Right, uh-huh. Okay, all across the top here, you can forward that domain to whatever link you want. But, so let's say if you wanted to ch change Ask Jen Hill to something else, you could forward that domain. I know you don't want to do that because that's your blog, but if you go scroll all the way down to the bottom, bottom left, can you see my, it says forward subdomains, 88 available. There's a big blue button here that says manage. And I'm clicking on that. What you can do if you already have, you, so you have, I have 88 available. I think you get 90 per domain name. Um, so what you see here is the ones I already have. And what happens is instead of the www, you put in a little word there, whether it be Facebook or what is, or so it's going to be what is dot janhill askjanhill dot com instead of www dot askjanhill dot com. So I'm at, actually going to add a subdomain right here. Okay, so w it says add subdomain, and it says dot meetnicklogan dot com. So if I type in what is or who is, that is going to be the re replacement for your www. So remember not to put www when you're putting that link out there. Then you grab your affiliate link and just copy and paste it in there. You want to go to some, the. does that make sense so far? Why is it that you put the who is in there again? Well, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to name it. So you could put tribe. Oh, so this is where Carrie put tribe in there. Right, you could is put that what you're saying? tribes. Okay, so whatever you want that domain name to look like when it goes out. Right. Right. Okay. So, and then right here, you copy and paste your affiliate link in there, and then you go to advanced options, um, forward with masking, um, and then you can put the title and description. The title would be like um, the power of tribe syndication, um, and then the description and keywords. You don't necessarily have to worry about, but it helps with the SEO purposes. But so that just covers up that big, long, ugly affiliate link. And then you just hit OK. And it probably takes about, a, you know, some, sometimes five minutes, sometimes a half hour. And then you can start using that link. And you, you just got to remember tribes.ashtonhill.com, et cetera. Or, so I can forward it to, like, if I write a, an article about tribes on my blog, I can forward it to my blog or... Well, you can forward it to whatever you want. The purpose of this to, is to get your affiliate link in there. And the reason why you put an affiliate link in there is because it's that big, long, ugly link. This just right. makes it look prettier. Okay. So, so you can put so, it on. So I would put this in my blog as a link to the sales page or right. to the video. Right. A link to the, yes. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Sorry. Yeah. So does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay. And it makes sense now.